There's no doubt that the name Christine Keeler still stirs memories today. Memories, it seems, of a bygone world, though not so long ago, which began with an obscure shooting in a West End mews, took in a society massa, a cabinet minister and a Soviet diplomat, led to the death of one, the disgrace of the second and the departure of the third, nearly brought the government down and provoked an official inquiry where a High Court judge, Lord Denning no less, seriously had to ask leading cabinet ministers and politicians whether they were or were not the headless man, the man in the apron, the man with the bodily scar and other such intimate details. There was Stephen Ward, a Harley Street osteopath with a distinguished clientele embracing politics and society. He protected Christine Keeler and through him she met the Conservative Minister of War John Profumo. She liked him, she wrote, as a man. Profumo had an affair with Christine Keeler, and then, when questions were asked in the Commons about a shooting incident outside Ward's flat, he denied any relationship with Keeler. There was Eugene Ivanov, naval attaché at the Soviet Embassy, friend of Ward's, and also a lover of Keeler's. He too was, she wrote, a real man, rugged, with a hairy chest. It was the security threat from the Ivanov connection which made Profumo confess he had lied to the House and then resigned from office, parliament and public life. Ward committed suicide on the eve of the conclusion of his trial where he was accused of living off immoral earnings. Keeler was jailed for nine months on charges of perjury and conspiracy to obstruct the course of justice. <laughs> 